Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. In this video, we will create a resume in the Blue Prism Process Studio. If you are going to attend any interview, then you can show your resume as a Blue Prism Process. It will add some values, means it shows some creativity. So let's start. Create a Blue Prism Process and use Start and End Stage. Now we will divide our resume in different uh, categories or subcategories so for example i generally we add things uh, generally we add our education experience personal details habits hobbies and uh, our projects so we can divide our resume in different pages and we will create all the pages for different categories and all the high level of our resume will be present on the main page uh, and you can add the formatting means you can uh, apply the <coughs> font style font color font type as per your requirements or whatever you like you can design so i have created this page for education let me create one more page for experience and one page for personal details similarly you can add as many pages as you want let's invoke or call all the pages on the main page and also if you want only single line i mean single page cv so you can add all the details on the main page itself apply the for font there are a lot of font i don't think any of the blue Prism developer explore all the font we just use the default for font so there are multiple fonts available you can use in your resume as well in your process also i think uh, we all are <coughs> bored with the default font and if we use these different colors and font then our process will look something different attractive so i have added these four pages and call the pages in our main page now i have added a note here we will add our overview or we can say our career summary or we can add our uh, basic intro means i am a app developer i am a blue prism developer or i have uh, this is a year of experience and all the knowledge which you have so you can add a brief of your introduction uh, means technical introduction especially means your overall experience and the tool you worked and the technology you now let's move to the education page so here i will add all the education in one stage which will be not stage so you can use different stages as well so this is how you can give a brief of your education means the highest degree you have the name of the university or college and your marks and passing years and you can use this font size font color i am very bad in this type of things mean designing like selection of colors and all i'm very bad in this now let's move to the experience page here i'm gonna use calculation stage to store the experience again you can use any stage as per your requirements i use note stage on the education page and here i'm using calculation stage so here i will add the company name means i worked in this company and in the expression i will add all the details means my responsibilities my role and whatever are the project so here we go so this is will give the brief means i worked in this company and if uh, the interviewer or the viewer of this resume is interested he will open the stages or we can use a uh, stage to store the result as well i will show you but now see the personal details in personal details we can add multiple notes or we can add a uh, choice stage means uh, we can give uh, because in personal details we can add lot of things means our interpersonal skills our hobbies interpersonal skills our positive traits our certifications trainings so you can add a choice stage also means uh, if the choice is whatever it will show you that in the calculation or <coughs> it will show you in a uh, uh, data item but i'm adding the note stage means a contact you should add contact on every page i think so that they can email you
here we go now let me show you all the four pages so we can add more details as well okay we have two errors let me add one stage to store the result you can uh, like record this uh, means you can run the process and record this now you can show this to your interviewer or you can send that video recording to your interviewer or it will be a good creative witty because flow will uh, when we run the process flow will move to all the pages and it will show all the details you can add a, a sleep stage as well on every uh, page we can add a sleep stage so let me use some data item to store these results okay. now no need to move in uh, means no need to open the calculation stage it will show the results here and also we can do one thing like we can add all the calculation stages on our main page and create multiple data items so it will show uh, everything means first uh, it will show uh, like details uh, contact details then personal information then uh, experience education you can do that also means as soon as one cal calculation stage uh, processed it will show the results means first it will show the name uh, the, uh, the email ID or contact details then educational details then the your experience and certifications trainings you can add lot of font lot of, lot of fonts are available you can use as per your requirements or whatever you like so you can add breakpoint also if you want to like uh, attract their if you want means something is very special in, in your resume or cv and you want an interviewer should watch this so you can add a breakpoint also just create a video means create a process then record this and show this to your interviewer or the hr which is going to like uh, schedule your interview and uh, one more thing you can do you can take the print of all pages and put these prints in the word file and create a pdf means your means you can create your cv just create a process then take the screenshots and uh, then paste the screenshot in the word file or in a ppt as well then share it with your interviewer this is something different interviewer will like this thanks for watching guys do let me know if you have any doubt or queries bye bye